The Lagos State Government has refuted false alarms over parking levy by its agency, the Lagos State Parking Authority, LASPA, saying that the development was designed to eliminate indiscriminate levy collections. Lagos State Commissioner for Transportation, Dr. Frederick Oladendi, at a press briefing on the activities of the newly created agency, LASPA, in Alausai, Keja on Wednesday, said against the erroneous claims by certain individuals and groups, LASPA has the power by law to collect park levies. Correspondent Love Ikuko Yedeku tells us more in this report. This press conference is to put the record straight on a purported viral post on social media by a business owner. He alleged that on demand notice, the Lagos State Parking Authority, LASPA, charged him to pay the sum of 290,000 naira for parking in his compound. But the Lagos State Government says it's all false. According to the Commissioner for Transportation, Frederick Oladendi, any setback not in the title of a property belongs to the government except whoever is claiming ownership proves otherwise. For example, you build a supermarket. Uh, the supermarket would have the space that is allocated to it. And then the supermarket would have a fence around it. Now, the distance between the fence, because we believe that that fence is put um, I mean, they put it at the limit, and the distance between that fence and the drainage, which we know is not allocated to anybody, is actually the setback. It's important that we understand the definition of a setback. That setback belongs to government. Now, if the supermarket actually wants additional uh, parking space, it's welcome to, I mean, they're welcome to visit um, the agency and then pay for that. Um, parking space. But State Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Benga Omotosho, said the claims were an attempt to malign the government by mischievous people. I've uh, read the newspapers and I've seen on uh, television uh, people who don't know anything about law at all, uh, raising their hands and beating the air in anger to say that uh, what the state government has done is uh, wrong. And they are basing this on false information that if you park a car within your compound, you are supposed to pay. I think uh, this is a uh, fallacy of the year. It's not true, and it's uh, an attempt to malign the government uh, by mischievous people. But I know that members of the media, uh, my colleagues, will not be surprised if you see such uh, things because we are in a season of politics. The general manager, LASPA, at DBC Adelabo, and joint developers and builders to accommodate park provisions in their building plans before construction. You cannot charge two million, three million, up to four million for a venue, and there is no parking. In Lagos today, there are some event centers that have ten cars, twenty cars parking, and you have seated venues for thousand people, five hundred people. We feel as a government that that's very unfair because the day we have that event there, that whole area is unlocked. Lockdown. People can't get in, can't get out. You have to project an hour or two to get around. These are some of the reasons why the government decided something needed to be done about that. The Commissioner for Transportation, Frederick Oladendi, and joined Lagosians to cooperate with the agency and other similar stakeholders in carrying out his mandate. Oladi and they also employed interested and concerned members of the public to visit the agency's office for necessary information and assistance. Love Ikuku Uyeduku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.